How much you got in there today, Joshua? $62. Whoa. And give me a couple of packs of Marlboro. Right. Morning. Nice morning, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice indeed. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, here we go. 62. 62. Hmm. You can marry into money. <laughs> oh! Damn it! I can't leave you for a minute. What? What did I do now? You're supposed to look at me like that. I bought you cigarettes. I don't care. Think I'm with you for cigarettes? Wait, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're supposed to have breakfast. Have breakfast with her. What did I do? Women. Harry, I know you're awake. Uh, uh. Come on, it's in the position. Uh, what time is it there? Eight o'clock. I have overslept again. I gotta get to work. Oh no, not this time, Harry. Was a spoon. Last night you promised. Oh, I'm a sweetheart. I don't want to be late for work. Who oh, gives a damn? You own the real estate company. You can't fire yourself. Sweetheart, I am not in the mood. <laughs> Buenos dias, your breakfast is served. What am I eating? Tea, juice, cereal, cafe. Any milk for my coffee? Are you going to the beach today with your sister? Yeah. I got to get going. So soon. I've got to take your father to work. Oh, I'm coming back tonight. Tonight and every night. Listen closely, ladies. Opals. Jacket. Opals are the stone of the year. Now, if you don't have an opal in your jewelry box, your box is empty. Scott! Scott, my floor director. Scott, let's get a close-up of this beautiful ring. Bubbles, come on over. Harry, now put this don't you think Stalker is sexy? Whatever you say, dear. Mm. Hmm? A little harder. Oh, you like that? Perfect. I thought you'd say that. Now, this beautiful opal ring surrounded by sapphires, diamonds, and other opals is priced at $350, but I am going to cut that price for you beautiful women at home deprived of this lovely jewel. I'm going to cut this baby in half and in half and in half. $99, that's it. Just for you sweethearts at home, $89. $89. Did I slip and say $89? Uh, yes, you did still. <laughs> well, my mistake is always your savings. Bubbles. The ring bubbles. But my box is empty, Stu. <laughs>
Got my banana? <laughs> hey! Watch how you peel that. Oh. Cochino. Father, father. What? Good morning to you, too. Well, what is it now? Vanessa and I are going to the beach today, and you didn't give us our allowance for the week. Ask your mother. I did. What'd she say? Exactly. Yes. Get it from that asshole father of yours. Exactly. Dear damn it. Now don't talk to me for another week. William, let's go. I'm late. Yes, sir. What, are you crazy? About you. <sighs> Ohio, Gazima. Oh, that's good, Bridget. <laughs> but sounds little Jewish, though. <laughs> Come on, damn it, William, let's go. Will you move this show? Yes, sir. Just trying to let the car warm up. Hey, let's go. We're not in Alaska. It's 90 damn degrees down there. What the hell is warming up? If you don't move this car right now, you are fired. Let's go. Yes, sir. Jackass! You! Diana! Get the blanket! Put it on the couch! Oh my God. Let's go. Put his ass down right here. Come on, William. Let's go. I'm late. But so, what about this? He's fine. When he wakes up, kick his ass out of here. And it's a damn good thing for you you didn't hit another shrub. Cops involved in this. Why? He looks okay. He's fine. You're fine, right, sir? You, you can walk, right? Let me see. Okay, he can walk. Let's go, William. I'm late. Aren't you going to do anything? <sighs> All right. He's fine. Everybody out of here. Let's go right now. Oh, you're fired. Come on, come on, William. Let's go. I got to get going here. I'm late. Barbara, is my 9.30 appointment there? Yeah, and you're late. I know I'm late. That's why I'm calling. Yeah, I'll yeah, be right yeah. there. You can see in the guest house. Uh. Come on, come on. Uh. <laughs> come on. Well, this is it. Now, you stay right there. You'll see, you'll love it here. Oh. <sighs> Poor thing. <sighs> you need a bath. <sighs> it's all right. I'm just trying to get you cleaned up. I'm not going to take anything from you. You're late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry what? I'm sorry, Mistress Clarice. I don't like to wait for you. But I can explain. Explain on your knees, schmuck. Well, you see, there was this homeless person and... I don't give a shit about them! What the... Shut up, slave! You will worship the ground I walk on. Now crawl. Answer. Yes. Yes what? Yes, sir. I, I mean, yes, Mr. Clarice. You'll pay for that. Now, kiss the ground I walk on. Mm. Mm. Kiss. Mm. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Mm -hmm. Kiss. Now lick. Yes, Mistress Clarice. 
there, you dog. Lick my shoes clean. Lick deep, slave. Come on! I think! Come on! In English! In English! Come on! Watch it up! You win! In German! In German! I bought you some <laughs> food. Some kind of like us, just the way we are. 101 and 16 30 seconds. <laughs> and in half again. Now, if you're one of the first 100 lucky callers, we're going to give you a low, 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 low,
Are you gonna rape me? I'm homeless, not a rapist. Why didn't you speak earlier? You didn't ask me to. Good point. All right, what'd you guys forget? Do you want to tell me what is going on here? We're missing valuable son. What is your problem? <laughs> this is. I'm sorry. What's your name? I thought I was bad. Here's my 18-year-old sister sitting here with a half-naked man twice her age, and she doesn't even know his name. Where have you been all morning? Around. Taking care of... Uh... Joshua. My name is Joshua. And if you get my clothes, I really have to go. I thank you for your food and for your tender touch. You're really a sweetheart. Tender touch? Did you sleep with him, you slut? Watch your mouth, young lady. Even though you're older, you can learn a few things from your sister. She has a kind, compassionate heart of gold. If it wasn't for her, I might have been left for dead. Well, you really weren't dead. No, but it makes a more colorful story. Now, I really got to get going. I have a very dear lady friend who will be worried sick if I'm not with her. You're married? Girlfriend. Very special girl. Without her, I think I'd be dead today. Like I say, there are people that don't have homes and are alive inside, and there are people that have the best homes and are dead inside. Like our father. For someone with a smart mouth, you should have great eyesight. Great. Now, can we get back to the sun and fun, please? <sighs> How will you find her? That's his problem. If I don't give at least six guys my telephone number today, it's going to be a wasted day. <sighs> they never call anyway. That's not true. They always call. Call, 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 call. That's all they ever do. How will you find her? I don't know, but it better be before dark. Well, your clothes aren't dry yet. Hmm. <laughs> I've worn wet clothes before. Nothing new to me. Gotta go. Gotta go. Any friend of ours doesn't have to wear wet clothes. I'll be right back. He's not our friend. He's your friend. And I'm not going to get grounded over this. You shut up. Last time we got grounded, we were two. Now we have to help Joshua find his girl. It'd help if he had a car, wouldn't it? And some clothes. <sighs> Thanks for coming. Coast is clear. Hey, that's the guy I ran over this morning. Yeah, he looks like a lawyer or something. Like a real guy. He is a real guy. Hey, thanks. I don't know why you're doing this, but good luck. Well, I've been searching all day on this hot July. Around every corner for a good for this guy. I'm looking at the station. Switched on every beach. I cannot find it. Is there a have you seen Noreen? No. Who's Maureen? If you see her, tell her Josh was looking for her. Who's Maureen? Announcing on the radio. Ask everyone on the street. Help me find her.
have to be positive. Your father's gonna kill me. Driver, I'll kill you. Wait, I think I know where she might be. There's a bridge, make a right. And then a right at a dead end. Joshua! Joshua! What are you doing in this part of town? Well, I was looking for you. This is where we met. I was worried sick about you. I thought the worst. I'm all right. I'm fine. What, did you win the lotto? Almost. I got hit by a car. It was an accident. Who are these people? They're my friends. They took care of me. I took care of you for five years. You miserable, unappreciative jackass. Hey. I thought you left me. Don't you ever leave me again like that, Joshua. I need you so much. I'll never leave you again. I promise. <laughs> William and Bridget. Hi. Thanks, guys, for bringing him home. <laughs> Thanks again. If you're ever in the neighborhood, feel free to drop in. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. Thanks, Josh. Good luck. Bye. 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 I was so scared. Oh, baby. I missed you. <laughs> Gosh, you look so all alone out there. Yeah. You're gonna catch the death of cold out there, William. Yeah. They look so in love. I wonder if they actually do it in that cardboard box. You animal! What? Shut up, creep! How much money have you got? None. Your father hasn't paid me yet. Men. Vanessa's right. The only thing they're good for is sex. Now, somebody's got to help those people out. I want to take them home with us. What, are you crazy? Your father's going to go nuts. You're right. Help me figure out a way around them. You know, Bridget, maybe those people are better off where they're at. Who could be happy out there? With talk like that, you could end up sleeping in the street. Sorry. I'm perfectly happy when I'm sleeping. I'll do anything you say. All right. Here's the plan. Vanessa, you have to help me out. Why should I? I'll give you my new leather skirt. Deal. What the hell are they doing here? And why is that bum wearing my jacket? I can explain. And my shoes and my pants? You better. Your mother's waiting for me upstairs, so talk slow. Dad, they need to stay here as our guests for one month. What? How about two weeks? No. Can I get you something to drink? Don't give them a damn thing. Get them whatever they want. Of course. Two weeks, Dad. Not one second more. In exchange for them to drop the lawsuit. What lawsuit? Hit and run. He's threatening to sue. Sue? Uh-huh. OK. They can stay two weeks, not one minute more, starting now. Harry! Coming, dear. Oh, man. God, it's only one day. Follow us. I'll show you to your room. I'm starting to worry. I thought maybe, uh... You look beautiful. That's very pretty. Thanks. The girls gave it to me. Hmm. I think we're doing the right thing. I mean, once we step on this side again, it's so hard to go back. Let's try it. The girls are giving us this chance. I think I'm ready to join in again. Join the rat race? Mm -hmm. 
get a job and buy insurance and vote. Cheat, cheat lie. lie. As long as we're together, everything's gonna be fine. Oh, baby, money changes things. I have money. <laughs> yeah, but every time you get to 10,000, you give it to Food for America. You never buy anything with it. I buy your cigarettes. Oh, gosh, <laughs> Come on, you're worrying about nothing. I got a surprise for you. Close your eyes. Come on. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay, okay. Who's your old one? You gotta run over. Oh. <laughs> Bridget gave me this one. Are you sweet on her? She could be our daughter. Still not too late. I love you. I love you. Listen, little Norby. Please listen to me careful. Why flood so many eyes with tears when you can bring one heart love and laughter? Listen, little Noreen, please listen to me careful. I am laying down a law that you had better not defy. Give them all a farewell party, I'm taking over, that's no lie. You just get yourself together now, I'm back on the scene once again. Back on the scene once again, I'm back on the scene once again. Listen, little Noreen, please listen to me careful. You've broken many innocent hearts, but no more from here on after. Listen, little Noreen, please listen to me careful. I want a mask on your face when you walk out on the street. Disguise that come on voice of yours if you should have to speak You just get yourself together now I'm back on the scene once again Back on the scene once again I'm back on the scene once again Those little rare things you possess Can blow any human mind You drive a man through hell I've been there so many I'm back on the scene once again. I'm back on the scene once again. Back on the scene once again. I'm back on the scene once again. the city, look for work, maybe a place to stay. What kind of work? Handyman. You know, jack of all trades, master of none. Is that what you did all your life? In between singing. You sing? Oh my god! <laughs> I write and sing songs. Why don't you look for a singing job? If it was that easy, I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now. <sighs> Bridget, can I ask you to do me a favor? All you have to do is ask. Maureen's not used to getting up without me. Maybe if you went back to the house in a little bit. I'm leaving now. Don't worry. I'll be with her. Thanks. You've been a great friend. I appreciate it. All right. See ya. Good luck. Thanks. I'm going to need it. Hey, you uh, Thanks for the guitar. Joshua. Yeah? The 
the ball. <laughs> Whoa. What's your name? Okay, I'll shut up. You've won for 30 minutes and not one second more. My beautiful goddess-like body to feast on. With your eyes. My sumptuous 36, 22, 34. Statuesque figure is yours to drool and savor. Dream and stare at in a sick, wanting way that is fitting of your low-life stature as a slave. You disgusting pig! And if you're a good little pig of a slave, squeal for me. Come on, squeal like a pig. I will allow you to kiss it. If the price is right. Oh, Harry. Good morning. Good morning. So, you homeless person? Yes. You pretty homeless person. Thank you. You need anything while you stay here? Just ask. I help you. Thanks. How husband doing? Oh, he's not... He's fine. Put that back, white boy. White man, do you? Morning. It's more like good afternoon. Where's Joshua? Don't worry, he'll be back. He went to the city to find a job. Want some orange juice? Yeah, I'll get thank that. you. Hey, ma'am. Take a break, Edward. I have hands. Are you sure you girls aren't adopted? That's what I always say. Can I ask you a personal question? Had I become homeless? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be nosy. It's okay. I was a school teacher. The city cut back in the budgets and I lost my job. I was living from check to check and school teachers don't make that much money anyway. And before I got another job, I was evicted. So then I lived in my car for a few months. <sighs> then I had to sell that so I could eat. You know, when you haven't got much and you're alone, it doesn't take much. I've called everyone and we're all set for the party. Now I'm gonna go to the beach for a while. I'll go back to the guest house. No, you have to come with us. Are you ready? Where are we going? When's your birthday? I really don't remember. I do. How do you know when her birthday is? It's today. Oh, I get it. Better than the beach. <laughs> Happy birthday! Time to work out. No, 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 oh. no, no. Not even for these? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
100 push-ups. Now. Last time you only got to one, wimp. I hope you've been working. One. Bridget, where's Maureen? <laughs> See, you're stylish. <laughs> How did it go, baby? Well, it's strange. I put in a few applications here and there. It's tough when your last date of employment was five years ago. It really felt good. So, what did you girls do today? <laughs> oh, the girls took me shopping. They did. They did. We had such a good time. You didn't pick up on any cute boys, did uh, you? No, but well, we got a few winks and whistles. I bet, yeah. <laughs> How about playing a song for us, Mr. Guitar Man? Oh, sure. You got ears, I've got ears. Ears are made to listen. My mouth ain't made to only rap. Lips can be used for kissing. You need love. I need love, this is where you're gonna get your thrill Hang on to a feather and fly with me and start living it up Living it up, living it up on my hill You're no fool, I'm no fool And there ain't a bit of use in lying If you want it bad and it's yours to have That's the only honest truth I'm buying Come on girl and enjoy yourself let your head down at your will We can have a good thing going on Start living it up Living it up Living it up on my hill You got feet I got feet And there's bound to be some squawking If we can't see eye to eye Feet are made for walking You got a heart and I got a heart and we can use it to forget We can patch it up together again and start living it up Living it up, living it up on my head You're no fool, I'm no fool And there ain't a bit of use in lying You want it hey, better I knew that was Joshua head. I thought so too If not, let's go get the others Come on, girl, and enjoy yourself. Let your head down at your will. We can have a good thing going on. Start living it up. Come on, living it up. Yeah, living it up on my hill. Living it up. Come on, living it up. Living it up on my hill. Living it up. Living it up. Living it up on my hill. A lot of love now. Living it up. Living it up. Living it up for a mile With a smile, yeah Living it up Living it up Living it up for a mile Harry, we're gonna tie you No, 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 no Harry, not even for this Okay Executioner, tie him Tie his hands. Tie his feet. Tie his tied hands to his tied feet tight. <laughs> tie his tightly tied feet to his neck. Hog tie the piggy. Ooh. <laughs> Tighter. Tie his tied tight hands that are tied tightly to his neck to the tip of his toes.
tie his testicles tightest. I can look. Who are all these dirty, smelly people? Well, they're my friends. I mean, I don't know what they're doing here. But... Look, if you want, I'll ask them. Your friends are our friends. Right, Vanessa? I think your school is unwinding. Althea, put another shrimp on the Barbie. Shut up and eat, you ingrate. Like you do with your sheets. Ain't got no telephones. Ain't got no clocks. So ain't got shoes and so ain't got socks. I keep my wishes in my pocket with my chains. To me, they're worth the same. Well, it's my time. think that I want you out of my house now it's our house too yeah oh no 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 I pay for this house me me empty not you you live here I let you live here get out of my house sir they are your daughters sometimes I wonder you stay out of this this is none of your business don't forget the lawsuit oh no I got witnesses Witnesses who saw him dancing and eating my food and drinking. He's fine. There's no lawsuit. I want you out. O-U-T. Go out. They go. We go. We do. We do. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. We have to. What do you say, Dad? Well, don't let the door hit you in the ass on your way out. O U T out go you're done finished oh that's it goodbye gone safe out go out that's it goodbye out gone safe out go out go on everybody out come on come on come on come on come on everybody out help get, get out hammer give me give me that out! Give me that soda! I want all you people out! Give me that weenie right over here! That's my weenie, not yours! Give it to me right here! Out! Thank you! Yes, let's get out! Everybody out! <laughs> out! 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 I want you out! 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 And for an extra hundred dollars, we'll just throw in these luscious spiked pumps. Don't even order them, don't even ask for them. You'll get them anyway. All right, now, I want you to order them for your daughters, your sons, your transsexuals, your bisexuals, your cross-dressers, your 
I just want it for the whole damn family. I wish Stu Stagger would touch me like that. Next item. The hell with the next item. What is this crap anyway? Expect me to sell this? Get out of here! Go away! Oh, Bob. Oh, baby. Oh, I want to look like bubbles. Hello, Kari. Hi, it's Marilyn. Yes, give me one in every color. Maroon Monday, Turquoise Tuesday. Oh, just give me a dozen of every color you have. Every color. Yes, and if... <laughs> yes, and even every one with the spiked heels. And if that credit card doesn't go through, I have others. What the hell kind of a mother are you? How could you allow those kids to bring all those people in here? Yes, also give me a half dozen of the compact hair dryers, the assorted pack. They don't understand responsibility. I should have never listened to you. I should have had them working at 10 years old. Please don't forget the free chocolates I get. I've kicked them all out. The kids too. Maybe now we can get some sleep. Did you hear me? Yes, dear. You kicked the kids out. Are we going to make love tonight, big boy? No. I've got work in the garage. Wear a condom, please. It's business. Yes, dear. I know. Yes, I'll take 50 of item 117 in every color. 12 of the Velvet Elvis portraits in the Witness Protection Program. 20 sets of Tammy Faye eyelashes. 70 flamingo lawn statues. 40 weed whackers. 70 pounds of down feathers. And throwing a ton of manure. Thank you. Dirty. Do you want to help me do the wash, Gringo? See. Oh, stop staring at me! Oh, this is horrible. Somebody farted. This is not exactly a Girl Scout weekend. Where am I going to plug my curling iron in in the morning? Oh, poor baby. I'm sorry, girls. I got you into this. It was our decision. Don't blame yourself. It was your decision. Listen, I'm tired of hearing you complain. If you don't like it, go home. Go home? Yeah, go home. That's what he wants us to do. Go crawling back, begging for his forgiveness. Go become part of his decadent lifestyle. But he kicked us out. You know and I know it'd take father at least a week to even realize you were home again. We'd be home right now if you didn't lose your mind. Not crazy! <gasps> I'm not! <gasps> I'm perfectly happy out here. I don't want to be home. I love the smell of garbage in the evening. I think she's nuts. I'd have to say after the last few days, I agree with you. I got us into this and I'll get us out. Damn it. What's the matter? I broke my nail. Go oh, home. home. But it's raining. Go oh, home. Oh, oh, shut, shut up. up. Don't those things move? <gasps> so, my hair. <sighs> prodigal daughter has returned. The other one can't be far behind. Victory is mine. Senor, senor, is it in yet, senor?
ladies, originally priced at $900, we're going to put them on sale for a low, low, low. How low? We're going to cut in half. Four fifty. And in half. Two twenty-five. And in half again. One twelve fifty. Now, if you're one of the first one hundred lucky callers, we're going to give it to you for a low, low, low. How low? How low? Ninety-nine dollars. Ninety-nine dollars. God, I Buy love now. you. Order a dozen. Give them as gifts. Now. They all come in a cheap cardboard gift box for the low price of $89. 80, did I say $89? Uh, yes, you did, Stu. Oh, well, okay. I'll keep my word now. For a measly $70, $79, shut my mouth. But that is a savings of $821. Whoa! <laughs> the pearl bubbles. Sorry, Stu. Operator. I need you to break in right now. It's an emergency phone call. It's a matter of life and death. some money. I suppose you came back to beg for a credit card or two. I presume you think I'm paying for your college this fall. Well, this man who stands before you isn't that forgiving. You've got to earn my money, and even then, I don't know if I'm going to give it to you. You wasted my food and my beverages to the tune of $2,385, and until you get a job and pay me back every dime, I don't want to see you. I just wanted to say how nice it was to be home. These damn homeless people are haunting me. I'll fix their asses. Give me the district attorney's office. District attorney's office? Let me speak to the DA. One moment, please, sir. I'll teach them to sleep on my damn doorstep. They don't know who I am. I've got connections in this town. District Attorney Clarice Matthews. Good morning, District Attorney Matthews. Go on. <laughs> and Mistress Clarice. This reminds me of going to baseball games as a kid. My dad always used to get me hot dogs. Hot dogs and the smell of cigars. <laughs> I knew it was springtime. I once had a tryout with the New York Yankees once. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I could hit the ball a country mile. That's before the car accident took my legs. Realized all I can do was play baseball. But you can't play ball without your legs. Oh, a little baton. Well, you remember the crash? Yeah, which one? Black Monday. Black Monday was Charcoal Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
and just never stopped getting blacker. Looked like a cotton field. Hey, 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 hey. This you don't have to make this a black thing, you know. Oh, I didn't mean any disrespect. Sound like disrespect to me. I was just making a point. Here they go again. Take it back. Yeah. Take it back. Take it back. I said, take it back. Make me apologize. Apologize. That's right. Apologize. Hey, you don't tell Sammy what to do. Nobody tells Sammy what to do. All right, come on, lay off her, huh? Stop goofing on her. She didn't mean any harm. Don't get involved with these guys. They are the best of friends. They fight and scream all the time. But they love each other. They give the shirt up their backs if the other need it. Oh, Ain't that right, boys? Oh, yeah. How about the shirt up your back? <laughs> what? Has anyone seen Joshua? Who's looking for him? Joshua! Vanessa! I think that's, that's a lamb shot. Hey, William. Vanessa. What do you want? I came to say I'm sorry and I was wrong. Are you staying? I've got a plan. <laughs> Here we go again. Where are we going? You'll see. Can we just stay in the limo? Limos don't have cable. Move over and let me put my curling iron in. Here we are. It's a little dusty, but at least it's safe and warm. And it doesn't smell. What is this place? It was our father's first business. When he closed it down, he said he'd never sell or rent it. It was a neighborhood restaurant. When I was eight years old, I used to make myself burgers in the back. I was too little, so I'd have to stand in a milk crate and watch. Believe it or not, our father was a really nice guy at one time. Every Thanksgiving, he would open up and feed people for free. And our mother used to help him out. Hmm. Then he made a few smart uh, business deals. And with the money in the right places, his sweat and hard work paid off. The money rolled in and Daddy became father. Hmm. Marie, look at this. I can't remember the last time you tucked me in and kissed me goodnight. Boy, with a little work, this place could be something. The bar is beautiful. What did you say? The bar is beautiful. No, Noreen, Joshua. I said with a little work, this place could be something. Yeah, but what? Leave that to me. Could you really do something in here? Overnight, with a little help from our friends, we can have this place in business. Who would work here? We know a lot of people looking for work. It's going to cost money. We got the credit cards. Mom maxed them out. I couldn't even get gas today. Can you imagine that? I think this is a good charity. Right now, the best. <laughs> Look, don't you sweethearts worry. We're in business. <laughs> Say goodbye Time flies when you're 
How you holding up, Bridget? I'll make it. Fighters always do. Good. Because the hard part's over. No, the hard part's ahead. It's no party without people to party with. They'll come. And if they don't, don't worry about the money. It really means nothing to me. But seeing this place like this and giving our friends some work and a place to sleep yeah. makes it all worth it. Hey, come on, guys. Let's get some sleep. It's a big night tomorrow night. Yeah. Did you get all the flyers out? Every last one. Good. All right, Vanessa. 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 Uh, are we going to the beach now? <sighs> what kind of entertainment are we going to have? You know, people aren't going to hang out to hear me play my guitar. If people come, they'll stay. Entertainment's my life. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Free drinks, free drinks. Welcome, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, what you've been waiting for, Mark, Mark Mason, Mason and, and Ampage. <laughs> I must go. Anita! When you get rid of that guy, jump his dummy over my shoulder, would you? Hello, girl. Nice to see you. Don't you people do these kind of things? You know what I have to ask, Vanessa? Your presence is required in the kitchen. What's wrong? Fire! Just a little one. of my grandfather's burned a whole village down once, but the stuff tastes great. What do they ate? Not bad.
They want give them lots of it. I hope they don't all get up and walk out with me and my little guitar all alone out there. We'll never be alone with a friend like me. Just close your eyes and sing. Sing from the heart. Okay, one more quick question before we get going here. Why do women have their brains in their heads? Because we don't have a penis. Okay, you guys ready for some fun? Great, because let me introduce you to Mr. Joshua Street. He can't do it. He'll be fine. to build and then destroy He hides behind a wall of pain But still the song remains the same Your love gave me wings to fly Your love gave me wings to fly Your love gave me wings to fly
All right, who's in charge here? We are, my sister and I. Well, look, you got 15 minutes to evacuate the premises, or you'll all be under arrest. We're operating without a business license, operating without a liquor license, and operating on a premises that is not yours. Breaking and entering and grand theft. I can't believe you're doing this. I thought you'd be proud of us. It's for your own good so you don't waste your life. But we're doing something with our lives. The way you started. Times are a little different, but the idea's the same. We're helping others while learning to help ourselves instead of at the expense of others. Doesn't that count for something? You guys have been handed everything on a silver platter. This place is worth $200,000 plus all the credit cards. Money doesn't grow on trees. Now that is a lesson. We'd like to buy this place. Now we have a down payment. Can we start with 8,000? It's not enough, sorry. Look, we've all worked too hard now to lose it. I'd consider maybe 10%. Hey, wait a minute. I've got 2,000. But we have worked too hard to give it up now. I've got $2,000 too. I was saving to go back to Mexico, but I think I found a home right here. Nice try, but you're $8,000 short. Now I want everybody out. Everyone out. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Out, everyone. Out, Hold let's them. go. Hold everything. Hi, kids. Hi, Mom. She spoke to us. She left the house. I still own half of everything you own. At least half the last time I checked with my lawyer. Isn't that right, District Attorney Clarice Matthews? Yes, ma'am. And I have temporary licenses for the girls to operate business for as long as they wish. Oh. Ah. Well, you all have a good evening. Let's go, boys. And uh, good evening, Mrs. I mean, uh, District Attorney Matthews. Don't think you're going to get away with this. You. Into my chambers. Ever want to lick the soles of my shoes again? Read this to those wonderful daughters of yours. Yes, Mistress Clarice. Harry. Squeal like a pig. <coughs> Read it. I was wrong. I will never be a bad father again. I have been despicable. I don't need this to talk to my daughters. I'm sorry, girls. I guess I've been a real bad father lately, haven't I? For ten years. Yeah, for ten years. Mm -hmm. I'm really proud of both of you. You've done a great job with this place, all of you. It's all yours. You've earned it. And? And I'll try to be a better father. I want to be your dad, not a father. It's been so long since I had a hug from you guys. Why don't you come on up here and give me a hug? This is great, Dad. Stop!
Stu, how low can you go? Stu, how low can you go? Well, you ought to know. I've been dancing in the light. I was a midget in a past life. And believe me, I know what low is. Now for 69, 69, and that is something to get excited about. 69 bikinis for 69, 69. Bikinis, 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 bikinis. Oh, bubbles. <laughs> You are not going to need Stu anymore. Daddy's home. You're not going to eat this anymore. You're the executioner? I'd rather just be your wife. Come here, wife.